guys, so as you can see, I am wearing a new install, and this install is by Princess Hair Shop. I am wearing four bundles in a closure. Um, the bundles are 222, 120, and 118, and the closure I believe is 16 inches. And it is installed onto a full wig. So this is my closure right here. Um, one thing that I'm kind of upset about, because I've been testing out my lighting, is that it's not picking up the uniqueness of this particular install. And what's unique about this install is that I did a brown to gray ombre. And I'm really upset because it's not coming out um, as gray as it really is because I have like a yellow tone to my skin. Um, but I did post pictures of it on Instagram and um, you guys liked it. So I'm gonna just insert a couple of pictures on how it looks in its natural lighting. Um, I tried using it on my, um, my Canon and it's not really picking up the color so well. You can see it in some spots, but um, it looks more blonde on my camera. I guess it's because I have like this yellowish tone going on. I'm really working with my lighting. I'm not a professional, but I'm trying to be a professional. This is my initial review on it, and so far, of course, everyone's gonna say this, but I love this hair. Now, the reason why I say I love this hair is because I sent this hair through hell and back, and it still looks beautiful and bouncy and soft and just everything, girls. It is everything. You can kind of see the gray on the bottom, but when I say hell, okay, let me tell you what I did. So in order to achieve this color, again, I'm going to post a video showing you guys um, how I colored the hair to gray. What you have to do is you have to lift the hair to a, a really, really white blonde. So the process took me about three weeks to do. I was sent this hair in mid-November, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't damage the hair. And the reason why it took me three weeks is because after I bleached my hair, um, the first lift, I would deep condition it and um, over for a day. Then I will rinse it out and I will wait a couple of days and then I will bleach again. Um, and if it didn't lift to the color that I needed, I probably would have bleached again. And then I waited a few more days and then I added the toner, waited a couple of days and then I added the additive, uh, which gives you the gray color. Um, again, I'm going to show you how I colored the hair to be a gray. My inspiration was Rihanna, and this is the picture that I was trying to go for. Now, the difference with Rihanna's hair is that she has a black to gray, um, but since my leave out, my natural hair is brown, I didn't do black yet. Um, I'm going to do black eventually, but I'm just trying to figure out how I can do the black with my leave out in the front without um, having to color my hair. So I was thinking on my commute home that I could probably try mascara to just try to color my hair a little bit, but I really want to achieve what Rihanna had. Like that's what I really wanted. That was my inspiration. But for now, this is what it looks like. Um, and this hair is gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love it. It's giving me life. Um, so I'm just messing it up a little bit. I'm actually perfecting my closure technique now. So um, I'm a little good at it. Um, I will post a video on how I found a new technique, um, thanks to YouTube, I found a new technique on how to um, make your closures last at least a week um, without taking it on and off because I, I didn't want to do the elastic band method and this is a full wig so I'm going to post a video, just a quick short video showing you guys how I keep my closure on my head. But this is the hair. Um, you can kind of see a little bit on the tips. It looks blonde, but it's actually really gray. I just I just can't with the lighting right now. I'm so sorry, guys. And I would go outside, but my husband's playing Madden, so I'm just gonna let him have his piece while I'm in here making my video. Um, but I will post pictures on how the color looks. Um, I've gotten a lot of attention um, from this, obviously, because my hair is gray. And it's not gray on the top. <coughs> it's actually gray on the bottom. <coughs> I don't know why I always cough whenever I do videos, but I love it. Look at look at the bounce. Look look at the bounce. I'm gonna turn around. I just curled it um, for this video, so I don't know how it's gonna look in the back. So I'm gonna turn around for you. So 
So the 22 inches that I have um, in my hair, it seems kind of short to me, um, like once it's curled, and I think it's because I damaged the ends of the hair, so I'm not sure if I want to trim the ends or not, but the 22 does hit the mid um, back of it, but once it's curled, it goes like right under my boobs. Um, and I was just like so excited when I actually did this color. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna be bomb on YouTube, but and it come out the way I want it. But my initial review again is that I love it. Um, I bleached it so many times. I've added so much color to it. And this hair still has bounce to it. Um, because I have gray on the bottom, gray tends to look dry. So I did apply some Mazzani oil to um, my hair very lightly. And then I like curled it. But the hair is still giving me life. Um, I wore the wig out for, my fir for the first time yesterday. And... Um, I loved it. Look at this. I love this side right here. I think I just need to fix my layers on this side. So I'm going to try to post um, some pictures so you guys can see the actual color. But this is my initial review, guys. Um, if you have any questions about it, let me know. Uh, and I will be posting a video on how I colored my hair gray. Um, because I noticed on YouTube when I was doing my research that no one really had a step-by-step -step tutorial. And people were usually doing it on their real hair. And if they were doing the real hair, it was actually short. So I'm just going to give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I did it. It was pretty easy, but it's very time-consuming. Um, I believe that's it, guys. So stay tuned and stay tuned for more videos from um, this install and more different uh, styles from there. Okay? Bye, guys.